24 hours ago, all eyes were on the sky in Clinton Township on this ball of fire that lit the night sky. The sounds heard far and wide as if it were fireworks and a light show that could be seen for miles and miles away. This was the scene at 6 p.m. Small flames still burning, but nowhere near what we saw last night. Tonight, officials, though, are urging everyone to stay away. And now back on the ground, an area filled with canisters and rubble that crews are sifting through to find some answers. At the site where a distribution plant once stood at 15 Mile and Gross Beck in Clinton Township. Thanks for joining us here for the news at 10 o'clock. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. It has been a crazy 24 hours for so many people surrounding that site. But first, let's get you caught up on some of the key details as the investigation intensifies. Right now, the building is destroyed with debris still surrounding the area. Authorities say a 19 year old 1,000 feet away was killed after being hit by a flying canister that shot out of the building. A firefighter is also injured, but is expected to be okay. The business was called Goo Select Distributors, selling supplies for vape shops. Investigators say there was nitrous oxide, butane, and vapes with lithium batteries inside. The owners of the building have been questioned. Officials say the business was not approved, though, to have that kind of stuff stored inside. So let's send things over to Jacqueline Francis, live on the scene tonight with a look at more on the damage, but also where things go from here. Jacqueline. Devin and Kimberly, more than 24 hours later, and if you take a look behind me, you're going to see a small pocket of that fire still burning. But it wasn't the flames that made this situation so volatile. Rather, it was the exploding canisters and flying debris for as far as two miles that truly made last night the nightmare it was. It was really loud explosions. There was like fireballs coming out. It was a night no one saw coming. This came out of the sky. This came from the building. This is a canister. What sounded like thunder or fireworks we now know was a series of explosions. The police were begging people to get back in their cars and get away that were, you know, that were all over because, yeah, there was stuff flying everywhere. The damage seen for miles. Punctures in our roof from the containers. Nicholas Hindman owns the two buildings next to the explosion site. You can see our brick wall right here. He was shocked to learn what his neighbors had in store. You know, even our trailer back here, you can see metal shards sticking through it. Officials say the company, Goo Select Distributors, sold supplies for vape shops. We know that they were not allowed to have these canisters. And inside, there were gases like nitrous oxide and butane that they should not have had. They were illegally in that building. Those canisters weren't just responsible for damage far and wide, but for the death of a 19-year-old man. Police say heavy shrapnel slammed into his head. He was standing a quarter mile away at this car wash. I'm told that man's family is asking for privacy at this time. As for the investigation, as we said, the owner has been talking with police. It's unclear what, if any, trouble they'll be facing after all of this. Federal officials are also on scene helping with the investigation. Reporting live in Clinton Township, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Yeah, all right, Jacqueline, our coverage of this fire and the explosions continues. At click on Detroit.com. You can find our in-depth coverage there on so many angles to this uh, tragic event. That includes what we know about the business where the investigation stands, everything we know about the young life lost last night as well.